Hello everyone. Today I am at the Jerusalem train station, the first station in Jerusalem, which was actually the first train line in the land of Israel. Established, opened, this line was opened in 1892. 1892, this is before the Hijaz Railroad. This, ro this line connected Jaffa to Jerusalem. I'm not gonna speak a lot about the train today. I'm just gonna take you and see the Friday activity uh, and the market at the train station. So follow me and enjoy. So here you see the entrance of the building of the train station in Jerusalem that was uh, opened first about 130 years ago. As I mentioned, this was the first train line in the land of Israel ever. Uh, in, uh, in 1892, the first train line from Jaffa on the shoreline near Tel Aviv. There was no Tel Aviv at that time. Tel Aviv had not yet been founded. Jaffa was the main port city closest to uh, Jerusalem and uh, this train line connected from Jaffa to Jerusalem. Uh, the train uh, uh, stopped being functional in the uh, 1990s if I'm not mistaken. It was closed down so it operated for nearly a hundred years and uh, there are a lot of uh, funny stories and history regarding the train line. But uh, I'll tell you what we're seeing now. You can see that there's a flea market here. This is a, a Friday a Friday event. And the, the whole train station, being that the train, this particular line is no longer operational, the train station here became a commercial center for uh, cafes and restaurants and uh, recreation for people from Jerusalem and people from all over, from all over Israel and for tourists. You can see that there are a lot of people who are here on tour on Friday with a tour guide who is telling them about the, the history of this place and other nearby neighborhoods that are also very interesting. And you can see all of the stands of uh, different people who are selling their merchandise. Some of the stands here are uh, second-hand clothes, like boutique. Each one is a, their own individual stand, selling whatever their merchandise is. There's this one fellow here who uh, is an author, and he wrote children's books. So he has a stand, and he is offering people to come and uh, check out his book and speak with him and, of course, purchase his book. And there are a lot of uh, restaurants dotted around this compound that was once the train station. So the, the place is called the first train station because this was the first station in Jerusalem uh, and was the, the final destination if you were coming from Jaffa to Jerusalem. The ride from Jerusalem to Jaffa took about four hours and the ride from Jaffa to Jerusalem took about six hours. The train was pretty slow, and there are a lot of jokes about the train being slow. There's this joke that someone was sitting in the train, and he saw someone walking along the train line towards Jerusalem. So the fellow said, why don't you jump, hop on a board? And the walker said, I just don't have time. So the, the point of the joke is that he figured it would be faster to walk to Jerusalem uh, instead of uh, getting on the train. Here you can see the ferry go round. Uh, so there, there are different uh, activities here for families and children. And there's like a boardwalk that was established, was uh, built on the actual uh, train uh, on the tracks, the train tracks, uh, there's like a boardwalk that was built between the tracks. The tracks are pretty narrow on this train line, 
in order to save money at the time the developers bought a used a train from France and it was only one meter wide where the standard was a meter twenty Here you can see the sign for the first station and across the way you can see the parking lot for the Gan Hapaamon. At Gan Hapaamon there is municipal parking which is paid parking, the, the paid parking in Jerusalem and in Israel municipalities is marked by blue and white paint on the sidewalk. If it's blue and red don't, pla- don't park because that's uh, illegal parking. If it's blue and white it's permi- permitted but you need to pay. And uh, today the easiest way to pay for parking is with a an app. There are two apps that offer a service where you can uh, sign in as a member with your credit card and then you can you can use the app wherever you're parking and uh, it will let you figure out what city you're in and how much you need to pay. So there's a paid parking there across the street and there's also free parking. So if you're there uh, if you find a free parking spot, of course, you don't don't need to pay. And there's parking on the other side of the first station. There's a, a large, huge parking lot that is also paid parking. But what is special there is that there is a shuttle, which is free. The parking is paid, but there's a free shuttle from that parking lot to the uh, old city of Jerusalem, to the Kotel, to the Western Wall. And in the area of the Western Wall and the Old City, uh, there is no parking, or very little. It's hard to find parking there. So it's a great option to park here at the first station. And from here you can take the free shuttle to the Western Wall and walk around the Old City. If you're actually planning a tour, you can uh, reach out to me with any questions and I will try to help you uh, figure out details regarding your tour here in Jerusalem or anywhere in Israel. If you uh, are here on this, seeing this video the first time and haven't seen my other videos and check out my channel uh, and uh, check out some of the other video tours and feel free to share any uh, thoughts or any questions on, my, uh, on the comments on the YouTube uh, channel. Here you can see the, the uh, wooden floor here and if you see the, the line to our right on the floor you see the line that's the actual train tracks. So this uh, wooden floor was built in between the tracks and this uh, continues after the first station compound that we're in now. After this commercial area you can see all of these restaurants and you can see these uh, these tents are part of the, uh, the the tents with the plastic windows are part of the the COVID solutions for self-isolation if people do not want to be out in the public sphere with other people while they're they take off their masks and they're having coffee and they can use these tents uh, for privacy anyway you can see the track along our right on the floor with the wooden uh, floor in between us in between the the track lines and uh, this continues after the first station uh, through a park that was built along the uh, along the train line what used to be the train line is now like a, a public park in between the neighborhoods and people can use this path for bicycling and for jogging or just for leisure and walking around so this is a really neat place and now a a new uh, service in Jerusalem is the rent-a-bikes that we've seen in the past in uh, Tel Aviv is now uh, has now been set up in Jerusalem so these uh, bikes are available at different locations throughout the city you could rent a bike at one location and and ride to another location and uh, and return it to the other location. It's like an automated automated uh, automated program. I have not used it yet, but I think that you need to download an app and to uh, 
and to sign up with your credit card information and then you can decide what type of plan you'd like to use. If you want to use a, a one-time plan or if you want to subscribe for a monthly or three monthly or for a yearly plan, there is a, a discount for Jerusalem residents uh, but uh, even if you're using it for a one day and you're not a resident and, and you like to bicycle around or even for a certain amount of time it seems to be a, a great great opportunity and uh, I will at some point try that out myself and let you know more more about that I hope to get some more videos uh, up uh, quickly because I'm going to be out on the road I have a, a tour group coming in from the United States and I'll be with them for a couple of days I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film while I'm guiding the tour while I'm guiding the group but if I do get some uh, time uh, to uh, document some of the places that we're visiting on the tour then I, I will definitely try to uh, do that so that, that's it for now. We're towards the end of this tour at the first station in Jerusalem. At some point we'll go to the first station in Jaffa, which is the other end of this line. And there's also a similar setup there. Well, that was our short tour through the first train station in Jerusalem that has become a, a commercial center. And uh, this is a Friday. Friday they have the, uh, the market, the open market, with different stands. And uh, throughout the week, there are cafes and restaurants, and it's really a neat place to visit in Jerusalem. I look forward to seeing you here. Be well. Shalom.